Well, this may seem like a quiet country lane, but it has been the site of quite a few unexplained sightings recently. This is where it all started. Telephone calls started to come in to the International UFO Federation about weird looking lights in the air and strange noises up above. So I asked local resident Craig Rowe what state he was in when he reappeared. Oh, I was petrified. I was absolutely petrified. I, I didn't know what, what had happened at all. How do you account for the burnt shoes? God only knows, but whatever they did to me, mm. I don't know if I want to know, you know, what happened to me that night. I, I remember a big white light and I remember these visions, but that's it. Mm. Nothing else. Mm. No. I, I can't sleep at night. I cannot sleep at night. Okay, thank you very much. Right. That isn't the only sighting reported within these three days. This morning, I spoke to the International UFO Federation where 20 different reports of sightings in the area at the time of the man's disappearance. So if you see or hear anything and you're not sure what it is, please give them a call. What's that? Can you hear it? <laughs> 